Welcome back everybody to another redstone computing video. Today we'll be looking at binary dividers. So this is really cool and it relates back to my previous redstone computing video which is redstone subtractors and basically all you have to do is hook this up a certain way. I won't go into too much detail. I have a Wikipedia article link down in the description of how divisors work. But by just hooking it up, you're able to actually divide it pretty compactly. Now this is my original design I actually came up with, and I compacted it down pretty um, neat. And it's actually modular, so each if you want to add a bit, which this is 4 by 4 bits, you just have to add one more of these three wide segments below, and then just another one down at the end. Um, your dividends are at the right side, all along here. Your divisors are down here, and your quotients are at the side. They're all in binary, so if you want to have a decimal, you have to convert it. Um, so, for example, we could do eight divided by four. So, or uh, eight, eight and four. I mean, uh, twelve divided by three. So, twelve divided by three it should get me four. So, with this load, it should get me. A, uh, quotient of four. Um, what this design is really cool is when dividing by zero, like right now, four divided by zero, you'll actually not have any answer, so it won't mess up like previous designs, like this one right here, where if I have it, so it's eight divided by zero or anything like that, divided by zero, um, all of them will light up, which is not what we want. Same thing if we just have. 0 divided by any divisor um, it will give me 0 obviously um, and this design is pretty cool because it's a relatively decent speed for being pistonless so if you guys like me only like uh, dust repeaters and torches then this design is pretty good it's fairly long and each bit that you add has to extend it by double. So if I want two bits, I'm going to have to double the length. And if I want to add a bit, I have to add an entire another module. But uh, after doing this, all I have to just copy and paste the length wise and width wise. It's pretty easy. At this end, you do have to do a little bit of hooking up. You have your you have two outputs. One is that torch right there, in other words, right here. And then you have your if it's if your dividend is smaller than your divisor, this torch will light up, and just like long division, you have to jump. You have to basically jump one into it, which is this circuit right here. And so we have this little torch right here. We'll go jump up, and this guy will light up, unlocking this, so you can extend out. And basically, after each bit, it shifts one, just like in long division. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too much detail. But I will have a link, a uh, world description, or a link, a uh, world download in the link description, sorry. And um, a subtractive tutorial on how to build that, because I did that, um, la that was my last video for this. Um, that is it, everybody, and thanks for watching.